The Kingdom of Heaven is like a professor who contacted the Academic Affairs Office to have students enrolled in a course on the parables. After agreeing with the students for the fair grade, he gave them the syllabus and the assignments to do. When it was about a month into the course, he realized that other students were still on the waiting list for his course. He emailed them, you can enroll in the course on the parables too, and I will give you a fair grade for the course. So they enrolled in the class. He checked again about two months into the course and did the same thing. He emailed them, you can enroll in the course on the parables too. A few days before the course ended, he checked again and found more students not taking a class. And he said to them, why are you wasting your time not taking a class? They said to him, because all the other classes were full and no one will let us in. He said to them, enroll in my course and get to work on the assignments too. When the course ended, the professor said to his TA, call all the students and give them their grades, starting with the last admitted to the first. When those admitted in the last few days checked their grades, they received a B. A fair grade for a course. When those who enrolled on day one checked, they thought they would get a higher grade, but they also received a B. When they saw their grade, they began to complain to the professor, saying, these students only studied for a few days, and you made them equal to us who bore the hardship of long papers, trips to the library, late nights, and time not spent with our families. And the professor replied to one of them, Friend, I am not treating you unfairly. Didn't you agree with me to take the course for a fair grade? Accept your grade and go. I want to give this late student the same grade I gave you. Am I not permitted to curve the grades that I want to in my classes? Or are you resentful and envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first last. Parables, apocryphal, epilogue. So the upset students ghosted the professor and held a Zoom meeting. They discussed various possibilities from passive aggressive acceptance to filing a complaint with the Academic Affairs Committee. In the end, they came up with a plan. We have thought about this upside down logic of yours. The last will be first and the first will be last and think it has some merit. Next quarter, you will not see us until the last few days of the class. The professor was amazed by how much they had learned and taken what he taught them to the next level. He realized he had no choice 
but to accept their ultimatum as he needed them enrolled in his course to keep his teaching position.